Welcome to another day in Minecraft. Today I'm gonna start to uh, dress up um, the uh, walls with our big holes and uh, this is the uh, palette I've chosen. We have uh, on the side blocks and uh, stairs, always blocks and stairs combination, then cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, uh, normal stone and then I have also uh, come by some coral blocks uh, of course uh, once we uh, place them they will uh, die and uh, that will give us a nice uh, gray uh, texture variant to the to the stuff that we have uh, down here so let's start building um, I think we should probably widen this out a bit uh, by I guess one block so uh, basically that means we don't have to uh, to uh, mine out uh, the blocks down there and replace them but we can just attach it uh, on the top so I guess uh, we start with uh, uh, with this level here and widen out uh, a bit below uh, these wooden uh, beams so uh, let's get going so the metal tower is uh, done, decorated. It turned out a bit uh, different than I expected. Um, yeah, we will put that down as a learning experience. So basically learning for the uh, other walls uh, where I think they don't have uh, up here um, where can we uh, see that uh, nicely uh, here at the top uh, I go one block uh, in and I think for the uh, walls uh, they don't have to uh, go straight down but they can uh, have uh, bulges and uh, holes in them and uh, I also think the uh, uh, bottom most seven layers they are on here they are plain stone and on this side uh, I think I can uh, work a bit with uh, coal blocks, maybe black wool, uh, stuff like this to uh, basically uh, give it a, a dark shade. And then towards the uh, top, um, I struggled a bit uh, when it uh, uh, comes to the uh, use of the uh, uh, coral blocks as you can see they do not blend uh, well with uh, with uh, with normal stone they go well with uh, cobblestone and cobblestone to uh, smooth stone is also quite a contrast so uh, there the uh, andesite uh, works well I think here on the uh, outside I will probably not use that much uh, um, coral blocks or uh, uh, at least I try to uh, uh, to cover the area in a uh, in a in a smoother uh, transition uh, here we have quite uh, some some holes and uh, the uh, different patches are uh, uh, pretty uh, locally so uh, I 
that's the thing that I want to work on on the uh, walls to get a better result there but uh, as I have had some uh, salts what should go down there um, I will basically put this on hold uh, I will I will finish it and put it all into this uh, video but uh, I think I will do some other stuff that we basically need or require to uh, to uh, finish finish that off here so it will be a while uh, until you see uh, this video but uh, let's move on with uh, other stuff so back with a bit of progress report uh, I started with uh, texturing uh, this wall and I'm not sure if I mentioned it but basically the uh, uh, lower seven layers they are a bit different they have cobblestone in there as well as uh, coal blocks and uh, black wool and that's because uh, uh, down here uh, we will create the fog effect uh, with uh, differentiated uh, glass um, and then above that we have the uh, actual wall and I uh, started with this big flat area which proved to be a bit challenging uh, I especially had uh, a problem with uh, getting in the uh, right amount of detail and also uh, uh, making it uh, not so so flat so uh, we here have here these uh, indents and uh, outcrops but on the whole I'm not that happy with with what I have come out here and then I basically uh, moved over here where uh, we're more on a curve um, which on the one hand it's uh, uh, just it takes longer to build up than uh, having a, a flat wall where you can run back and forth uh, but on the other hand I think this allowed uh, a lot more uh, details to uh, come in here and I'm I'm quite happy with the uh, outcome here um, here on the top you can see it's still not yet uh, finished and also there is the uh, ground floor but uh, as mentioned before I will build up this gap to about this height and uh, from above we we will have uh, uh, earth and uh, coarse dirt basically uh, a bit hanging hanging out and uh, and over this and um, yeah so let's have a look at the uh, other part over there yep and uh, over here I built this up till this corner because from here to all the way over there there is water on the outside and I'm still planning on doing something different with uh, with this side so basically uh, this setup will wrap all around back there and then back here and around here and I can tell you it's it's a grind so um, that one over there um, that was pretty straightforward uh, about an hour but for this stretch here um, I would say two to three hours so last section is also done for the uh, stonework and I think I 
did manage some more improvements. Uh, I uh, incorporated so uh, uh, crannies and uh, holes that go in and crannies that creep up and uh, then I have some of these uh, peaks or even peaks with uh, uh, a boulder on top. Um, this is uh, something that you can see some places uh, where uh, the wind and rain eroded the uh, uh, weaker uh, stone away but uh, basically uh, uh, left a pillar standing that's uh, uh, shaded by uh, a big stone boulder on uh, top there. So uh, this is all around here. Uh, some more spikes here. And uh, I think you can can really tell uh, uh, that this wall was the was the first one because it's just lacking the uh, the uh, depth variety that all the uh, other walls have. But uh, what I want to do now is basically uh, cover it. The, the top part here is uh, with dirt and coarse dirt so hanging make a bit of, a, of an overhang and then maybe also some uh, some bush bushes and uh, vines in some places on the in the walls to give it a bit more uh, vari variety instead of this uh, just grayish blend uh, that only uh, uh, distinguishes uh, itself in the uh, different uh, depths. So this part of the grind also has found its end. Uh, I'm quite happy with uh, how it turned out. At the top here uh, that's that's still a bit bland so I will have to figure out something but especially in that area I expect some more uh, terrain work as uh, I want to have a bridge uh, spanning over the gap here so uh, I will need to uh, build up this section a bit more than uh, on this part here I'm also not sure what uh, I want to do so for now I uh, just have it uh, like this and on this side I built up the, the, the hillside a bit but uh, below it's currently just empty and it does not yet look like uh, much from uh, above here but when going down here uh, I really like to feel uh, down here uh, in places uh, the uh, dirt line is a bit uh, uh, straight so uh, there for example so I guess uh, uh, this the dirt could hang down a bit more and also in, in this part but uh, all in good time I also think I could decorate a bit more with uh, with vines and uh, leaf blocks to get a bit more color variation into uh, the uh, uh, dirt side uh, on here. I don't particularly want it uh, in the uh, lower stone parts but um, that's something for another time. So 
Thank you for sticking with me till the end. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye!